Where did we think we would go? We came out of this infinite portal that we would never be able to understand and entered into an infinite space. During the nine months that you were in your mother's womb, that was your universe, that was your infinite space. That is where you originated inside of another being. And it's funny that that's the process that life starts off with because as soon as you exit that vessel, it's as if you were living in another person again. It's as if you're still a child, still a baby. You're 100% relying on this planet to feed you, give you something to drink, keep you hydrated, to breathe for you. Now, you could say that you are truly stuck in the position of being a child. This is what Alan Watts, UG Krishnamurti, Marcus Garvey, Sheikh Duyap, these all these are all people, for examples, who wrote in their writings about the infinite ignorance and the per, the predicament of being a human being. You've been told and indoctrinated since you were almost four years old that you could be whatever you want to be. There's infinite possibilities in this universe and that you, you should go after each one of those. Uh, but what you didn't know is that every possibility that was given to you was indeed put there to test and destroy you. Everything that you do, everything that you strive for is in actuality in opposition to this planet that you live on in this very moment in time. So those infinite possibilities that we chase, at first there are so, there are so many that we just find ourselves overwhelmed and eventually we, they, we choose a couple out of those infinite possibilities. Maybe an image that our parents showed us on a TV screen or maybe seeing my favorite singer or dancer live inspires me to be who I am. I know growing up, I was really inspired by old music, R&B. I felt the vibrations of these beautiful singers and it just made me think, wow, it would be so amazing to be able to sing like this. Now as a child, how and why do I have this peculiar curiosity for choosing my identity at such a young age? This is because that is your ego fighting your intelligence. Every single time you gain something good in your life, your ego is there to actually take it away. It wants to keep it for itself. And a key to realize, to key, a key to realizing your infinite ignorance is to realize that you cannot control anything. You are so ignorant that you don't have the ability to do anything but imagine things. Ignorance is truly bliss because the more ignorant you are to what the rest of the world is telling you, it's the more possibilities you actually have, which is true knowledge. But the way we live, though, is complete opposite of that. We, and we love our ignorance. We love our infinite ignorance and our abilities. We love the things that make us predators on this planet that make us feel oh so powerful to be here. But we always forget every single thing we know came from another being. Everything we learned 
It's truly just you accepting what somebody else told you. Every single thing. Many of many of us don't even understand the technologies that we use in order to actually understand that what we're being told is not true and if it is true we don't know how to use these technologies to apply them to our lives and to make them better and this is because you are doing nothing but using somebody else's possibility and trying to make it your own your ego is trying to take that in and claim it as, claim it as, as a victory but what you have to realize is that anytime you take something out of its original environment and put it and force it to be around you all the time, you have destroyed it. If that does not naturally attract to you, then you are doing nothing but limiting your chances, limiting your possibilities. So... Why do we do this? Why we do this is to figure out who we are. Why do we live these idiotic lives? All to figure out and, and label and identify yourself as something. Many of us have a fear of not being identified. But if you look at a beautiful tree, it sits still only moves when it needs to. It has no craving to be identified. Yet somehow we see ourselves as the dominant beings on this planet. And it makes sense because only somebody who needs to be identified would call themselves dominant. Only people who need to be identified would enslave other peoples, physically and mentally. Only other people who feel like they need to be identified would lie to the masses, lie to you and I, lie to yourself. Only people who feel like they need to be identified would allow other people to be harmed just to gain notoriety. So, what is actually going on? Why do we assume that we need identities? Why does these identities make us so ignorant? It is because we never realize that we left one infinite portal and entered another one. Inside of your mother's womb, you were aware that there was infinite possibilities. You were in a dream world, but your physical body was still grounded in this reality, floating, being fed, given hydration, given air. But the only difference is, ever since you've exited that portal, you've had the ability to take in other people's opinion of yourself. Why is this important? As soon as you had this infinite ability to act on possibilities, since the day that you were indoctrinated into your schooling system or your education system or your work system, every single day of your life, no one has known you for being infinite possibilities. They have only known you for what you trade in your time for. This is an illusion. Time is an illusion. You cannot even trade in yourself for time. But what we can do is trade in our identities for time. The more possibilities that you were told, it's the more that you want it. 
most of these possibilities are false. But when you were in that womb, you knew all the true possibilities and you knew and you were calm enough to not need to move at all to barely get them because you knew that they were there for you already. You know that there's a system, a divine system set up to where your mother would feed you. Your mother would give you hydration. Your mother would give you air. You never distrusted that. You never questioned it. You never wanted to exit that womb early. You never wanted to commit suicide and leave that womb early. You knew that you were developing into something great. But ever since that time that you exited that portal, you have been trapped in your own ignorance. Do not fight this ignorance. Only reason you would fight it is if you want to be identified as somebody who is free. But a tr truly free person does not need to fight for anything. A truly free person has the ability to withhold, understand, and take action in any possibility. They do not identify themselves with any possibilities because they know they are all. And that is true freedom. That is true love. That is true life. <laughs>